Welcome back to Let's Play No More Heroes. I'm Burning Dog Face, and we're looking at the drawer pretty much entirely because I haven't started a video here, and we've started a lot of videos in this, uh... <laughs> in this, uh, apartment. Huh. That's funny. Huh. This map has a bunch of, uh, things missing. Yeah, that one he's looking at there has uh, a bunch of stuff doodled all over it. And if I look in the drawer, it brings it in on the side of the screen. And for example, I can see on the far left of the map is a drawing of a cat with the word Gene over it. <laughs> what a fucking goofball. A bunch of drawings of hearts. Uh, a bunch of Polaroids. I guess those are the ones you were looking at that pop up when I look at the little icons. What? Oh! I guess the purple ones are the, uh, the job ones, because those are the job center icon is purple. All just those, or...? Hmm. So I got distracted there. All by myself. Let's start off this session properly by giving a shout-out to your friend and mine, Yornick, who says, This whole game seems to be like some unusual pizza. Lots of different ingredients which shouldn't work together, but they do. Kind of like pineapple and jalapenos. I am not going to, uh, back that one up. <laughs> oh, and, uh, LB dollars stands for lowbrow dollars. In a rather, and then it says idiotic, and that's scratched out and replaced with unique turn of events, local government decided to put dick jokes in their money. There might have been some drugs involved. <laughs> Silly. Also, to give a shout out to uh, Clunk279, who says these scorpions shouldn't even be that poisonous. Let me do this. Hey, girl. Yes, good. While their sting still hurts like an MFR, the larger the scorpion is, the less deadly it is to humans. It's only the teeny tiny dime sized scorpions that are super, super poisonous. So, as a rule of, uh, of thumb, if you are stung by a scorpion, the bigger the better for you. And on that same exact note, shout out to Derek Floyd, who says, Since Santa Destroy is in the American Southwest, these could be based on Arizona bark scorpions, which are the most venomous scorpions in North America. While a sting may not kill you, only two recorded fatalities since 68, the pain will have you wishing it did. Ah, oh, damn. I don't know why, but I find that when I look at especially adorable things, I feel this strange urge to put them on top of my head, like a hat. I know that is totally loony, but that is the impression I get when I look at, like, very young kittens. Small things. I, wouldn't, I don't feel that way, for example, for the capybara, despite it being the chillest and, uh, one of the cutest animals in all of creation. So you look up the, the word capybara and the word of any other animal, and you will probably find a photo of uh, that animal chilling with a capybara, even if they're supposed to be predators, like a fucking crocodile or something. They just vibe, man. job center is right there. Oh, 
fuck? I haven't done this one yet. I cannot remember. For the goddamn life of me. See, the problem with the, uh, the free fights is that even when they're in very specific locations, I find it very difficult not to blend them all together in my memories. Right, the destroy restaurant. Um... All right, what to do? Let's just follow this road. <laughs> now, I know that looks bad, but this is going to, by a weird coincidence, he's going to find that his chiropractic pain is gone. Like that episode of The Simpsons, and Homer accidentally finds a garbage can that can cure any back problem by throwing you over it. You know, there is a ship in the upper left of the, uh, the map back in Travis's apartment. Oh, I can't actually aim a, a cursor over here. I'm pointing at it right now. It should be that black line in the sea. Ah, yes! And yet I find absolutely no way to actually go there. Which is a very odd thing. Oh, that's right, just a big old fucking wall. Maybe we can see it through here. Fuck. Nope! We'll just have to imagine that it's there. Ah, good, a thing to do. Why is it always when I get off the bike that I forget which direction to point the stick? Were you an NPC in San Andreas? I always forget a face, but he did look familiar. Yeah, okay. I didn't know you could check on the map. What I did know is that I should get uh, something done. Let's see here. I have lots of money. But apparently I will need tons of money. So I'll just call a spade a spade and go do some assassination missions. If I could actually pull off that one where you have to use nothing but wrestling moves. Oh, that's right, because the fuckers with guns were running away. Sometimes when I hit a guy, he'll just stand there, and then it will allow me to hit him again. Sometimes he will automatically skid backwards. Like in an anime, when you block a really strong attack, you stay on your feet and get pushed backwards. It's a visual I've never seen outside of that. Western animation is more likely to have you fly uh, backwards on your ass for a uh, comic effect. I mentioned in passing earlier that uh, anime is a term that the Japanese use to encompass all animation, not just their own. Hang on. Aha! I did. Ooh. Whoa. I'm gonna pretend I got that from the, uh... The job there. Fair enough. What I did not mention there is the extent to which the, uh, thing about anime being a universal term is true. 
I will put it to you in this way. Somebody once showed me a bunch of uh, screenshots of little translated subtitles of a thread on a Japanese website. It was people arguing over whether the best way to watch SpongeBob SquarePants is uh, with Japanese dubs or in the original English, quote, as the creators intended with Japanese subtitles. SpongeBob SquarePants. Huh. Travis, welcome. Let me add him. Uh, was that it? Was there another one below that? Oh, wait, no, not that one. Those uh, physical moves I, l I forgot about. A is low uh, physical attack, B is high physical attack. Oh, I've gotten so strong lately, I don't think they can block me with my uh, sword. It still happens sometimes, but for the most part, it doesn't seem to matter which direction they're blocking in anymore. Well, outside of boss fights, I mean, those guys still have the skills. Literally, the skills to pay the bills. You know, since fighting dudes are their skills. thinking, you know, ideally, the best way for an assassin to do a job is for no one to realize that it was an assassination, like it was an accident or natural causes. And then I think about this lot of assassins and think, how any of them could possibly have done that? Speedbuster with her giant fuck-off cannon. She could assassinate the uh, International Space Station with that thing. Fuck! <laughs> nice and straightforward. Let's drop them on their fucking heads, right? Sorry, buddy, you're not important enough. Hey, he's over here! Oh, you, I thought you had a gun as well. What a lovely surprise. What the fuck? Fuck! What in the hell was that? actually angers me. This game is real shite at recognizing the, uh... The grab sometimes. Example. Fuck. Oh, I 
can't use the sword even to finish him off. thousand dollar reduce is pretty good but Right? Welcome. Well, how about the thing I know I can do? Oh, that's right! Shit, I forgot. I was gonna do the, uh, the hundred dudes. Let's see how that goes, since I've upgraded strength and everything. May you find your and this is a better lightsaber. I'm sorry, Beam Katana. It's an off-brand model. You do not owe any money to the Disney Corporation. They did not invent the concept of a sword made of lasers. I seem to remember hearing something about a uh, Flash Gordon story with a guy who had a laser cutlass. Which automatically makes me assume he's some manner of space pirate. Who the fuck else uses a cutlass? Talking. I tried to hit the guy who was already dead because I killed someone else in the other direction. Really surprised uh, another guy didn't die right there. Problem solved. I think that was him. This level is a bit of a horrible fever dream. Imagine this, the hypothetical mod I talked about where uh, it makes everything actually get bloody. Three guys with an upward swing. That never happens. That one's like fucking smashing someone with a potato peeler. Get peeled! One of those guys I killed there was on the other side of the support pillar from me. I'm just going to say that. 
I don't even have a funny comment for that. Weird that they still stand a chance at that. faster than I used to be. It's, it's like I'm kind of spacing out in the same headspace as a uh, fucking power wash simulator. Except that I'm slaughtering dudes left and right. Fucking hell, man. How many times do I have to kill you? There we go. He's not coming back in the sequel. Oh! I don't know why it does this. Nice nice words. Ah, almost had it. Just recharge like it was no big deal. I think I had like 10 seconds left the last time. Alright. I'm Burning Dog Face. And I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play No More Heroes. Oh, jeez. Faffing around aside, we've still got two major assassins to bring down. And that's on top of the fact that I'm just assuming the shit is going to hit the fan at some point. I'm just waiting for Sylvia to drop that other shoe. But we shall see what we shall see. See you then, Burning Dog fans. Later.